Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail with No Fair Fight. Today we'll be doing three quests if everything goes as planned. We'll do the quest with the... Oh, can I steal from you, sir? The old man. He's got a shield... A sh a what? Look at the shield generator. This is insane. Magnificent. Um, merchants. We need to install the... Transceiver, the T transceiver from the Tonkord guys. We need to test the chemical weapon and we need to find the BioCorp installation. And maybe we even go to the um, ship thingy where we should find out about that island. It sounds a lot like the Forgotten Island or Cursed Island, you know the ones where we uh, found the monolith, the first monolith ever, where you can learn the Psi skill of um, biolocation. If you've got willpower 7 or higher, that is. If not, you're not getting anything. You're just getting you're just getting your butt handed to you. This guy is different. He has a different picture than the others. Because they normally all have generic faces, but he does not. Which means he's different. But we'll find out about that. So, we have to place the transmitter. And I think it was here. Hall of Junk, is that possible? Hide the T-ray emitter in the chunk coil. Big enough to completely conceal. You plant a tree emitter right in front of the chunk by making sure that the device is well hidden. As you finish camouflaging it, the operational hum becomes muffled to the point where it cannot be heard anymore. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, these guys are obviously hostile. Oh boy, they're obviously extremely dangerous. No problem. We first have to kill the guy that is using the crossbow, right? And then we should shoot this guy. Uh, uh, how many life points do you have, sir? I'm not saying I'm concerned, but I am actually. I'm leaving the guy with the close combat weapon alive because he's the one I can kill the easiest. As crazy as that sounds, that is actually the case. So he's suppressed. That means we can fire one super shot at him. And we cannot get out though. That is a problem. We have how many movement points left? 40. If we convert them into points... Okay, that will not be enough to lay a trap, because we need 25 to lay a trap. We could fire, but that would be a waste, so we're just going for evasion. <laughs> yeah, I cannot be intimidated, because I'm intimidating myself. Hammer says hi. Yeah, guess what? I don't care for that. But I'm pretty sure you'll care for this one here. Man, look at that. He just tanks that shot. How is he doing that exactly? 1,780 life points. You are kidding me. Wow. That is impressive. That is really impressive. Check rabbit. Not the best. The equipment is not on par with their skill, obviously. Because they have so many life points. You should expect that they would be far more efficient. Uh, no, far, far better equipped. And we're slow as hell. Okay. Hmm. Let's have a look around what we found, actually. Maybe there is some hidden gem. Stealth increased by 30 is pretty cool. Stealth increased, okay, by 13. Constitution plus one. Very unimpressive hammer. Mildly impressive crossbow. 
You see, no extra reloading, nothing of that. Not very uh, impressive, simply. However, we have a lot to do. Uh, we should recharge our shields. Just in case. Where are my batteries? Don't tell me I didn't take my batteries with me. Okay, let's um, put all this stuff over there. Consumed increases all skills by three, whatever. Where are all my batteries? Damn thieves, all together. Have I forgotten to take my batteries with me? Is that possible? I mean, ten. We, we take, we take, let's take, um, just a small number of them would be suffice. But I was pretty sure I had my batteries with me. But apparently I don't. Then where did I drop them? Okay, uh, for you defuers, tell me where I dropped my batteries. Or am I simply too blind to see them? Which I don't think is the case. In any case, we should reload. Next station is lower levels. If I remember the map right. Where was the base? Was it here? This was Omega Station. If only I would remember that place right. This is Metal Works. This is the Hackett Research Outpost. Was that so far out? That is hard to believe. Is it in the Hackhead Research? Let me have a look. Hackhead... Yeah, well, it is. Okay. Okay. I am impressed because I didn't remember it being that far away. Well, it would be faster if we just... Go to the foundry, I guess. But then again, we're good on food. It's alright. Must be careful, though, for random encounters. So, the emitter thing is done. Maybe we should walk stealthed. Like, all the time, just for security reasons. But then again, I mean... We're pretty tough. Then again, we're actually not pretty tough because we're playing this in the highest possible difficulty. Why is there a dead man? I thought I had this area under control. How can there be dead persons? Because I sure as hell didn't kill this guy. I killed all these guys. I know that. <laughs> Never forgot me killing people. We're not getting aggressive on these guys because there's simply too many. We could climb down, but we will not. Uh, we're looking for a research 
thingy. Where is the main computer here? Let's ask this computer thing. No. That mutant skeletons, whatever. This is the power generator. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is my mission? Protein design. Mitriki, no. Maybe I already have what they want. Do I? Don't I? That is a skeleton. Let's take the key card. Dead mutants, that is just containers, they're all empty. Whatever we're looking for, it's not here. Um, the only place where it could be is in there. We should be stealth. Okay. No power. Hmm. Cannot go in here, cannot make the computer work. I could go down and power power up the system again. Maybe that'll help. But then it will be dangerous to move again, which is of course not very clever. Now we don't have to be stealth. Everyone here is dead already. Right? And there is no computer consoles down here, right? Oh, wait. There is one. No, is that not a computer console? No, it's not. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, turn on. So, power should be back. Okay. No hostiles. Open project database. Jesus process. Download to memory stick. Origin unable. 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 New protein! In addition, the authors explain how they were able to create a significant number of new sequences as their various useful applications. Okay, interesting. Unable. Hmm. Ooh, what is that? Shock bullets. I like it. There's nothing in here, right? Okay, this was a lot easier than expected. And unless we have accidentally activated something really bad, this did go far better than expected. Okay. Uh, if we go down here... Where are we in comparison to the rest of the world? Uh, not where we want to be. Okay, uh, not good. Not helping. We're now at the... F close to the closer... We're now closer to the foundry, right? The foundry is over here. We want to go to SGS, which is... Here, very, very far away. We 
could actually try out the weapon on someone less dangerous, like smaller rat hounds. However, uh, smaller rat hounds are not that less dangerous. As you might think, you just think, you know, rat hounds, whoa, no problem. Yeah, well, not, not, not exactly. Uh, do I get it right that shock bullets need electronic skills? I'm pretty sure they do. Oh, wait. Anything here? We take these with us because they're good. Um, no, we're all right. We don't need that much ammunition. We can make a quick stop at the armory. Just to sell some stuff. Make some coin. Um, yes, please. Yes, 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 and yes. Hand grenades. I'll take that. Mines. I'll take that. TNT charge. We already know those. Tactical X tin grenades. Grenade cap. We want all that. Pretty beautiful. You have no, no. Oh, yes. Jaguar. 146. That is excellent. And Steel Cat. I'll buy that as well. Um, the rest of what you offer is of not very significant quality. However, I can sell you armor, obviously. Oh boy, that's a lot of coin, but I'll pay it nonetheless. Tactical West Riot, Armor Leather, Armor Boot Components, Crossbows, Grenades. Didn't I find crossbows? No. Okay, Firearms, Tacticals, Riot, Leather, Boots, Grenades. Do I have a crossbow? Uh, I have guns. However, the guns I have are pretty bad in quality, but that's how it is. It's boots. What are the best boots? You're good, and you're good, and you're good. He's buying a leather armor. That's quite bad because the leather armor I have is very bad. He's buying tactical. I have no tactical armor to speak of. Talk to him again. Oh, you're not buying boots. Uh, you're buying one more firearms. But you're not buying boots. What kind of person are you that you're not buying boots? And I don't have any, any riot armor or anything like that. Which is a shame. Um... We should keep that. Here we're just buying that to craft weapons later on. Not really for any direct usage. Let's make this easier. Okay, what is that we have so heavy? Is it the ammunition? Yeah, probably, probably, but fine by me. Okay, we can sell one more firearm, which we will, because every coin helps. Okay. Wait, we can go to engineering, because maybe they're selling um, chemistry as well. Is always possible. Yes, they do. Perfect. Give that to me. I need that. Sadly, your weapon parts suck. Armor components. Yeah, I think we could sell some there, but not a priority. We have a lot of different stuff to do. 
Malcolm, open the gates. We're looking for a place where we can use the um, chemical weapon without the risk of blowing our own faces off. So what is the target that we can fight without risking our life? A target that is so easy that uh, disposing him is no problem because he cannot even fight back. So obviously Death Stalkers and Naga bots are off the list. Um, but, but what is still in the list, of course, is Hoppers. Yeah, Hoppers, ladies and gentlemen. The thing we need to test our weapon. And as we're ordered to test the weapon, we can be damn sure that there's something wrong with it. Otherwise, they would not have given it to a person they don't need just to test it. Beautiful. So, dear sirs. Let's see what this baby can do. Ah, very impressive. Good weapon. Okay, that was a miss. Okay. No malfunctions so far. Pretty impressive. This is not the worst weapon I've ha had. Good. I wonder how this malfunction actually looks. That reminds me. This is an acid weapon, right? So we should totally equip an armor that helps a bit against that. Because if shit's gonna hit the fan, we should not be the one who's getting, you know, killed and stuff. Okay, there is not a lot more hoppers here, obviously. Yeah, that weapon is okay. Don't think there's anything wrong with the weapon itself, but let's use up some smaller amounts of... Oh, they're all dying from the... From the acid. I see, I see. Not a big problem, but a problem nonetheless. Yeah, there are more hoppers here. Okay. Nice. Flawless. If I may say that, flawless weapon. No problems whatsoever. Do we get any damage? I think... I think I know that where I lost some of my equipment. I'm stupid. In the lunatic base, in the um, acidic area, I lost equipment. Because there were the boots, I didn't take the the... Oh, crap. What the heck was that? We hit ourselves. Luckily, we resisted 103% of the damage, but that is only because we're wearing the acid 80% damage reduction armor. Otherwise, we would have been killed. Okay, we know the floor now. Actually, we could go through to the junkyard and take the ship from there because the next step will be um, taking a ship, right? To the Isle of the Behemoth.
it was really, really stupid of me to not take the boots with me because we give the boots. Uh, they give you resistance to acid and biology damage and the mask as well. Although I think that is only bio damage, not acid damage. But again, the the armor is one of the best in my eyes. This one here is astonishing, astonishingly good armor. Only problem is the penalty to effective uh, to arm uh, movement. Funny thing though, I think these things could not stop us if they wanted. The question is, which one is the captains that takes us to the island? See what is what was his name? We've done that. We know the issue. We have done that. Um, we have done the first one. Cannot do that. Forsaken Island. Excellent. What is the boy behemoth you're talking about? Forsaken back from the behemoth. Usually just behemoth. Behemoth is this giant creature that lives on Forsaken Island. Some say it looks like a giant lizard or even a dragon with massive jaws filled with two rows of big sharp teeth. And it supposedly has glowing red eyes without pupils and huge horns in his head. I've heard one of the ferrymen, Kendra Besackler, who it was, mentioned the creature even breathes fire. Now, exact appearance of the behemoth is a matter of debate. I haven't seen it personally, but the, some ferrymen I would trust my life with me told me they've seen it and heard it's a bloodshedding shrieks from a great distance, though. It's difficult to get near the island. <laughs> I ain't rowing with both rowers, kid. It's too so dangerous. Even if we ignore that my giant man ending these the currents around the islands turn ferry into scrap metal, it would be like a hell of a skilled ferryman. Why do I think I came to you? I was told you are the best. Derailed. Thanks for the compliments, but the answer is no. Fine, fine. See, you haven't given up. I guess I'm derailed too, but I take you. By the way, why do you go to... I'll do it for science. You're derailed as a lunatic. Rowing with half is an oar. Whatever the case, kid, I'm gonna charge you well, 400 for one trip. That's non-negotiable. It's risky, it's dangerous. If we do that without their alive, at least I want to show something for it. But myself, something nice. Fix up the boat. Yeah. Okay. So next time we go up against the behemoth. This will be fun. Can I steal stuff from you? Carry capacity increased. <gasps> Ooh, she's got good coin. I like that. And I like shrooms. Well, next time we'll see. Until then, bye.